Ah, uh, hello again. It's Rich Rebecca from the Museum Learning Center here in uh, St. Genevieve. Um, I'm with one of our operations uh, people, uh, Melissa Otto, and uh, we've got some pretty neat information we'd like to share with you tonight. Uh, and we're going to follow this up. Uh, you can catch us on on the TV uh, tomorrow night, uh, basically saying the, uh, the same stuff. Uh, we've got information on um, volunteering here at the facility. Uh, we'll share some information about the uh, membership drives. Uh, and if time permits, we'll, uh, we'll get in into the little of the festivities that we're planning uh, over this weekend. Um, so, Melissa, why don't you take over and- Thank you. All right. So we've had a lot of exciting things going on in the past six or seven months. We had a soft opening on October 16th, and we've been open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, since then for the public. Um, some weekends are fully packed. Some weekends um, have been a little slower than others, but it's, it's been a steady um, uptick of visitors. It's been a, a great thing to see here at the museum. We... Um, are to the point to where we're setting up group visits. So school groups, classrooms, um, whole grade levels, homeschool groups. Um, we've got a lot of people interested in coming in. So we'll open on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for those groups so that we can make sure they have a really great experience and um, then also not interfere with the Friday visits that are for the general public. We have come to the point to where we really need some volunteers and we have some great opportunities for people who would like to volunteer. We have um, several different things you could do here at the museum. We have a great gift shop. Um, we have, um, have it set up to where that's where people enter the building and that's where they exit. And as they exit, they're picking up the dinosaur goodies and, and things like that. So we're looking for people who might want to work in the gift shop. Greet people, welcome them to our town and to our facility, and um, sort of talk to them just a little bit about um, what they're going to see that day, uh, and then help them check in and check out. We also have floor guides, and we don't want to alarm anyone. There are no um, written, scripted um, speeches that you give, but we find that people who are interested in different parts of the museum fall in love with different things here and learn more about it. And so as we are in a room with, with a group of people, it's just natural to start chatting with them and you learn so much just by being here. Um, so the floor guides, we, we, have, we have a few people who are here with us regularly. We have a few high schoolers who have completely fallen in love with, with the museum and uh, working with people. And so that's something you might consider. We also have special events and activities. We'll need extra hands to help. Uh, when students group, student groups come in, we'll definitely want some extra adults to kind of help. We do scavenger hunts with classes and that sort of thing. And then also we would like to have some just goodwill ambassadors in the community, people who have been here and who would like to talk to other people about what they've seen and encourage people to come and visit us. So we have different, um, different things that you could do here. And we don't want anybody to think that if you... Um, tell us, yes, you'll come volunteer, that you have to be here every day or even once a week. We want the community to know that if you have a couple of hours a week or if you'd like a day a week or once a month, whatever you're willing to give us, we will work around you and uh, get you scheduled and, and get you in. I really feel like if you come visit, you will um, enjoy what you find and enjoy sharing it with others. So on Wednesday, March 31st at 6.30, we're um, going to have a little informational meeting here at the museum, the Learning Center, and you can come and we'll take you around and show you, show you some different areas and talk to people about the volunteer opportunities. So if you can make it, that'd be great. If you cannot make it, but you would still like to volunteer, please call us here at the St. Genevieve um, Museum Learning Center. We um, will give you a phone number here in a little bit. Feel free to call and, and I promise to call you back. And, uh, We'll get you scheduled to come in and spend some time with us. So, Mr. Rubecki, do you well, want to talk you, about yeah, I, I, anything? Yeah, I'd, li I'd like to. I'd like to get into the memberships, but uh, you know, to, to piggyback on, on what you said, uh, just about every uh, successful museum that, that I've visited, 
um, all say the same thing. Uh, the, the lifeline of the facility uh, are the volunteers. Um, and uh, some of the more successful um, museums actually refer to the schedule that the volunteers um, develop. Uh, as Melissa said, um, a volunteer will dictate uh, when they're available, when they come. Some of, the, some of the more successful museums actually refer to the calendar as a Samaritan calendar. And they say what you do is you have this oversized calendar on the wall with a, uh, uh, one of those grease, dry, uh, erase. dry eraser uh, marking pen. Somebody comes in and they say, you know, I, I, I can give you two hours, but it's, it, it can only be Wednesday from two to four. Well, you know what? That person's name goes on the calendar Wednesday, two to four you've got somebody that you can count, mm -hmm. can count on. Other people will, 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 will put, would want to put in more than an hour or two. Um, if that's the case, they can fill out that Samaritan calendar. And, you know, like, like Melissa said, we've, uh, we've got um, different uh, focal points. Um, it's, 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 it's part of our mission. Um, with the seven galleries we have to strike a nerve in every one of our visitors um, and that same kind of nerve can can play out with with volunteers um, you come in uh, you you have a sp specific interest uh, that's where you know you'll want to be uh, we're sitting we're sitting at probably uh, one of the most important areas within this building and that's our information desk uh, this information desk is, is one third of an educational triangle that we have here at the facility. Uh, there'll be somebody here every hour able to answer questions on the fly. And if that's not possible, uh, they'll, they have access mm -hmm. to computers. Uh, so if you have a question uh, and your, your, your floor docent or your floor volunteer uh, can't answer it, no big deal. You both walk up here, tell the person at the inf information desk uh, what, your, uh, what your question is, and um, you'll, be, you'll be given an answer. Any research that's done throughout the day by the people at this desk, you know, for our visitors, uh, will be uh, down in the gift shop. Um, each, each visitor that, that has research done uh, will be given that information free of charge. I mean, we want, we want to truly be a learning center. Um, and, that, and that's what, you know, one of the small perks that, that uh, goes along with, uh, you know, uh, with the volunteers and what they what they'd be capable of doing. And speaking of perks, there's a segue <laughs> right into um, our membership drive. Uh, it's, not, it's not too late uh, to become one of two members uh, here at the uh, Learning Center. Uh, both membership drives uh, are running at the same time uh, until the very uh, last hour on the last day of 2021. Uh, you can still be considered a, a founding member of the new facility by joining our, uh, our, our lead membership, our charter membership drive. Um, the charter membership uh, comes with unlimited admissions, um, a 30% discount, in the gift store for as many purchases that uh, uh, in the, with it, within each visit that you make. Um, the um, limited edition uh, pewter medallion uh, is a gift from us to charter members. Uh, the uh, unique fleur-de-lis and the uh, water symbol um, struck by the pewter company around the corner from us is a one time and one time only. You'll never see this again associated with our facility. It's for the charter members, uh, charter members only. Um, we had, the last time I was here and I spoke to, uh, the, I spoke to you, uh, the viewing audience about this uh, charter membership drive, we had the original 1935 founding uh, membership plaque um, at this desk. It's now hanging up in the facility. Um, come December of 2021, all, all, everybody who has become a, um, a charter member, uh, that person's name will be on a, a new list and that new list will, will hang next to the original one. Uh, there's uh, reduced admission uh, prices to special events. As a matter of fact, I think in this first year, any special events we have, we're not going to be 
uh, reducing anything for the charter members. We'll put the word out uh, that we're doing something and um, charter members will be invited uh, free of charge. Now that's, that's at $150. Uh, and again, uh, you get the, the medallions, you, you'll get, and we're still, it's a work in progress. Uh, the charter membership card will be unique. Um, it'll be personalized. Uh, once we get that uh, card uh, in our possession, uh, we will make sure that every charter member receives a, a welcome packet, uh, including the card, the medallion. On the back of the card will be all of the benefits that are listed on this computer screen. Um, as I mentioned, uh, in inclusion on the 2020 foundation plaque, the uh, medallion, um, uh, the membership card, 30% uh, discount. Uh, it, really is, uh, it really is a pretty decent offer, but more important than you know, a trinket, uh, more important than you know, a special card, um, th this membership money, this goes directly towards sustainability. Uh, and it helps us, it helps us you know, pay the electric bill, it helps us pay the, the heating bill, it, it helps us pay bills in general. Now, there's another, there's another membership that's going on at the same time. It's a $40 annual membership. Uh, the $40 annual membership uh, also comes with um, un, unlimited uh, admissions to the, uh, to the facility. Um, it has a 10% uh, discount on all purchases. Um, you'll get two adult and two children passes. As a matter of fact, um, you get four adult and four children passes with the charter membership. I, mm -hmm. It's been so long since I gave this little spiel, I forgot all about that. Um, but you'll, you'll get some free passes that you can uh, give to anybody that um, would like to come either with you or at their, at their, own, uh, at their own leisure. Um, there will be a reduced, uh, a reduced uh, fee for special events for the, uh, for the annual membership. So it's, it's, not, it's not late. It's not too late to, uh, to become either a charter member for $150 or an annual member for $40. Uh, in January of 2022, then all memberships will be $40. Uh, everybody will be, that wants to uh, re-up will re-up at the annual uh, membership uh, rate. We may tweak a few things uh, for benefits uh, then, uh, but as it, as it is right now, uh, we're, leaning, we're leaning on uh, 2022 uh, being all, all uh, annual members across the board. Now, there's also, one other uh, way that people can get involved besides volunteering, besides being a member, uh, we have a special wall downstairs called the Generation Wall. And uh, imagine a willow tree that's, that's gently leaning uh, in a wind. Um, all of the leaves are, you know, kind of uh, blowing the same way. Um, the tree is on a rock foundation. Uh, well, the leaves of this tree uh, will have a family name, family dates. Um, they're, 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 there's a set fee where you can, an individual can buy a, a leaf, an individual, a family could buy a bunch of leaves for a limb. Uh, businesses um, can uh, purchase uh, a, a stone uh, rock or a stone brick, mm -hmm. and um, uh, that will be at the bottom. Um, <coughs> Like anything else, um, we do have contact people here at the museum that uh, will help you out. Um, I, have, I have Crystal Scanlon, who is, uh, is part of our facilities team, uh, her business card up here. Our phone number, um, you can order a membership over the phone, you can get information about the, uh, uh, as Melissa said, the volunteer. Uh, program, uh, you can get information about the um, the um, tree, the generation tree. Uh, uh, Crystal can be reached at 573-883-3466. Um, you can write us directly at P.O. Box 184 uh, if you prefer a snail mail and, and, and doing your communications that way. Um, our address is 360 Market Street. Uh, St. Genevieve, Missouri, 63670. Um, mail 
can come here. It can go to our post office. Uh, Crystal or Melissa or somebody else in, in, in operations can answer the phone. Um, our our uh, website, you can, you can go to our website and, and our website has drop down menus like the one that I have here on memberships. And you can, if you type in all lowercase letters, S-T-E-G-E-N, museum.org, uh, you can um, you can weave your way through our uh, our website um, and you know basically everything I've been told by people out in museums smaller than this one and museums certainly bigger than this one all say the same thing um, get an army of volunteers you know sell the hell out of memberships and um, you know, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll be in for bigger and better things. And I apologize. I thought I shut my phone <laughs> off, but I actually turned it on. And that was someone trying to get in touch with me. I'm such an important person. <laughs> yes. Anyway, Melissa, if you have anything else to, uh, if you have anything else to, uh, I would briefly like to talk about the shop hop this weekend. So St. Genevieve is doing a great job with the local businesses, getting everybody involved that they can. Um, each month for an event. So Easter's coming up, so the shop hop is going to happen. And so um, on this coming Saturday, uh, March 27th, we will participate with other local shops here in town. Each shop will be doing different things, um, maybe Easter themed. Um, we will have a table out front on our patio where we will give oh, dinosaur, um, probably dinosaur bones, maybe a little petrified wood. We'll have stickers and tattoos and candy. But then if you come onto the patio, we'll also have a few activities that kiddos can do um, for a fee. We'll have a, um, a dino duck pull to try and win prizes. And then we also have sun catchers that are dinosaurs that you can paint. And then of course the museum will also be open. Uh, we have great volunteers scheduled for this weekend to help us out. And so if you come down, you might get a taste of what it would be like if you would like to spend some time with us and volunteer. We really appreciate your time. Call us if you have any questions. Yeah, great, thanks. Thanks for being here tonight. Um, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, neat to have somebody, you know, uh, helping me out because I, I can't sometimes remember everything that needs to be said. But, uh, you know, once again, um, and I hope I don't embarrass him, but this doesn't happen without the guy behind the camera. Uh, Charles Litteris has been above and beyond what anybody could expect uh, when it comes to helping us promote this facility. Uh, he, when, we, when we used to have the, uh, the uh, Wednesday Spotlight Show, um, he was the man on the board. Uh, he filmed everything, he edited everything. Um, anytime I, I, I need him, uh, all I have to do is, is, is give him a call. And uh, Charles, we really appreciate your involvement. Thank you. Uh, thank you. And I guess that's it for tonight. And we'll see you the next time uh, uh, we have something uh, exciting, uh, or at least what we think is exciting, <laughs> to uh, share with you. Have a good night. Thank you.